I bought some shoes lately and I actually paid resale for all of them. Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back again, another night with another unboxing or more a review actually. I bought a bunch of Air Max 90 uh, lately and I tried gold for the first time, um, which is a society similar to StockX, you probably all already know that. And even though I really hate resellers and the whole resale community, I really like StockX because it's very simple. I have written down some uh, some notes actually. I have a manuscript for the first time. Uh, so I can tell you what I think about gold versus StockX for us living in Europe. That's the, that's the main thing. You guys living in the US of course have um, use for this video as well. But uh, there is one big thing, big difference for us living in Europe and that's those taxes, those horrible taxes. So let's get to it. First of all, the gold website is really bad actually. Uh, it's good, it looks good, and it's good when you just want the name, the information, to see what the shoe look like, uh, to see releases. But if you want to buy shoes, the website is kind of bad. The app is good, and the website should be as the app. The app isn't perfect, but it's good is absolutely doable but uh, the website needs to get better like even after i've done a purchase or done a couple of bids i couldn't see them when i was logged in on the website but on the app there was no problem at all the goat app maybe looks cleaner and better than stockx but stockx website and app is great you see uh, the prices how they've been going up and down you see the last uh, s couple of sales like the five last or something or purchases whatever and you see the highest bid that someone is willing to pay you see the lowest price that someone is ready to sell them for and you can either uh, put a bid whatever bid you want super low or whatever or you can use buy the shoes for the price that someone is uh, offering, asking for. The only thing with StockX is that I want them to have more pictures of the shoes and better pictures. You have a sort of 3D model, so you can rotate one shoe, but many of the shoes that I buy or that I like is uh, unmatching and you only see one of the shoes. So, I had a shoe the other day, I think it was the Nike Terminator, where one shoe is red and one shoe is green, if I remember correctly. On StockX, they only show the red shoe. So that, that's really wrong. But otherwise, with StockX, everything is super easy. The whole purchasing thing, everything is super easy with StockX. Uh, StockX, when you order from them, they tell you that the shoes will be in your hands uh, 12 10 to 14 days or something in my case it took let me see now it took over 20 days and after 14 days i asked them what is going on i should have had the shoes by now and they told me that they have come to the storage but they haven't checked them yet with gold also shipping from us i got the shoes here in five days and that was including a weekend. Uh, so if it wasn't for a weekend, I think I could have had them three days, less. Yeah, so gold was really fast with shipping. Gold shipping cost is a bit higher, $34, and uh, StockX is $15. StockX has a fee, processing fee, $6. Uh, gold X does not have that, sorry. Gold does not have that, they used ship it and that's it one really annoying thing with StockX is that when i go to the site i see prices i want to buy something then i remember to log in and when i log in i see other prices 
So before I'm, I'm coming with a big issue here. Uh, before with stock X, you bought the shoes, and then for us in Europe, it was a surprise if you had to pay taxes or not, and how much taxes. Uh, when you buy a shoe that has a high resale value, then it's good for you. When you buy something that was under retail, then it's bad for you. So uh, they changed that. So the price that you pay on StockX is the price in total. You are not getting any surprises. But the thing is that we from Europe can only buy from sellers in Europe. So that's, that's kind of annoying because these shoes, uh, Air Max 90 B True from 2019, on, uh, in the US, stock X, the prices are around 100 euro. Uh, when I log in and I see the European prices, the prices is almost 200 euro, I think even over 200 euro. So I put a couple of bids, both on StockX and GOAT, and um, they were humane uh, bids, nothing, nothing low-balling. So I think that I offered to pay, let's say, 140 euros for these on both StockX and GOAT. I think more, but let's say 140 euros. Suddenly I get a notification on my phone that Goat X offered me to buy them for 103 euros just without no lid on the box. And since I have the plastic containers, I really don't care about the box at all. So if I can buy the shoes for 50 euro less or whatever without the box, yes, please, I will do that for all the shoes. This box actually has uh, the pride flag on the lid, so it's kind of cool. But I'm pretty sure that these shoes has been in the outlet and then they remove the lid always on, in the outlets. And that, that, that doesn't surprise me at all because uh, first time I saw these shoes live were when my friend Kelly wore them at the Stockholm Sneaker Convention last year in February. And they were released summer, Pride Month, I don't know when that is, summer sometime 2019. So when he wore them in February 2020, they were already on sale and I didn't care about them back then. So I'm pretty sure that they have been hitting the outlets. And now when I want them, they go for double retail, of course. So that was a surprise to me that GOAT offers you a range of variations of the shoes. Uh, you can buy them dead stock, perfect condition in box, uh, perfect condition off the box. You can buy them dead stock with damaged box, as I did. You can buy them dead stock with flaws, and that's, that is flaws from the factory. Uh, you can buy them used and everything, everything you can think of. Stock X only has uh, top quality, flawless, dead stock, perfect condition, box and shoes. So that's much easier for you, so you don't get tricked, but Gold had a bunch of pictures of the shoes. So I was looking like, I was looking at the um, Jordan 5 Fire, Fire Red, which I regret not buying for retail when I could. In the US, they are at the outlets everywhere. And, uh, the shoes weren't so good, which I have realized. So there are many shoes on gold of the Fire Reds that you can buy them dead stock with flaws. And those shoes, they have like 10 pictures of the shoes. And I actually can't even see the flaws. So uh, they are picky and that's good. The thing is just that the shoes with the flaws are like 50 euro more expensive than the dead stock flawless shoes but with stock x you pick the shoes you want you pay the price that is on the site and that's it uh, they come home to you no extra taxes no extra anything and the shoes are flawless dead stock perfect condition of course we have some shoes like the carmines the latest carmines with the pink soles 
then they write that on the side and and like the uh, Carmelo Air Jordan 13 that I want that are just bad they never hit the stores they only hit the outlets uh, those are the kind of shoes that we know that the majority of them has flaws and then there is information about that but in general StockX is super easy I got a surprise when I bought these because I thought I was doing a super bargain even though I paid retail um, resale uh, 103 euros plus 34 something uh, shipping I had them home I thought less than 150 euro I'm fine with that that's just a little bit more than than uh, retail retail on these was 130 dollars uh, so 110 euro I think but I, when the shoes came to Sweden I had to pay taxes 53 euro taxes so the shoes ended up costing me over 200 euros and I didn't want them for 200 euros so that's a bummer and then we have StockX these shoes we have the same story here they were released last year uh, they were on sale for a while I liked them but I thought they were for uh, women only I didn't thought they, that they came in large sizes well packaged and I think Gold X package was well as, as well some minor marks on the box but yeah uh, and with stock X you get a hang tag a note uh, saying something about shoes and we have this famous goat X hang tag that is really simple to replicate and uh, goat has this punch card uh, where they use show you that they have gone through all their ver ver verification steps the only thing here is that they have punched in a shoe uh, box condition and I don't know if that is right because I did buy them uh, with full notice that the box were missing a lid but I don't know if they should have punched in when they have a uh, box with, with no lid uh, so these shoes were on sale and I actually found them in US 13 on sale still but I'm a US 12 and my feet somehow are not as big as they used to be uh, so I did not buy those shoes that were on sale but uh, it took so long with StockX um, I don't remember what I paid for these but they were not super expensive like retail maybe a bit over retail with, and then shipping of course but they were not super expensive still cheaper than, than any Jordan but they took so long so I bought another pair from a shop I have used them once uh, I got them super fast I think these were from Beeston maybe uh, but the thing was that these shoes uh, retail plus shipping from a store were in kind of worse condition than these from uh, or via stock X uh, but the pink shoes ended up costing me almost 300 euro maybe because for some reason I bought two of them just because I couldn't wait that, that is super silly but that is on me another great thing with GOAT is that if you know that you're going to buy a couple of shoes in a short period of time you can have the shoes sent to GOAT and uh, they store them for you and then you can take your whole storage your own storage and get it shipped to you with probably uh, much cheaper shipping cost than if you would pay for five shipping costs with StockX you can't do that uh, they don't care how many shoes you buy you need to pay 
shipping and, proce and processing fee for all the shoes separately and they will be shipped separately as well. Uh, another thing with GOAT that is good is that they have some shoes already in stock, already verified that they are real. I don't know if StockX has that yet, I don't think so. I'm unsure, but GOAT has that. So these were, or I don't know, some other shoes that I was looking at. You had like five different prices to choose from. Uh, dead stock via GOAT from a, a reseller, dead stock that is available at GOAT already, dead stock with flaws, dead stock with flawed box, etc. etc. And then of course used, but I don't buy used shoes. But back to the whole uh, Europe versus US thing, uh, which is really annoying because they still mix the prices somehow. As I said, when I go to StockX, I see US prices. When I log in, I see European prices. Okay, so let's say these shoes. Let's say that they cost uh, 100 euro in US and 200 euro in Sweden. And I offer to pay 150 euro. And then when I'm logged in, I can see prices like the last five being sold after my bid being sold under what I offered to pay. And that's really irritating. So I can offer 150 euros and I see in the coming days shoes being sold for 100 euros, but they are not in Europe. And that is super irritating. So uh, you have to keep that in mind. You're not getting screwed. Uh, it's used that we can't buy US shoes at the moment. I don't know what, what, they, what they are going to do, but that is the way it is. And everything is more expensive in Sweden. And I think that is all I have to say. This is probably already a very long video. So if you live in US, and if you don't care about the box, I think GOAT is great. Use not the website, use the app instead. Uh, and if you live in Europe and you are picky like me and you don't want dead stock shoes and you don't want, to want any surprises with shipping or with the taxes and uh, custom fee, etc., etc., choose StockX. You know what you are paying for, you know that the shoes is going to be flawless and uh, you know the, the final amount that you are paying directly when you pay it on the site. Uh, GOAT was like a lottery. Uh, I always end up, end up paying taxes, always. I have an unusual last name and the post office has me on the highest priority list of paying taxes, not with shipping. Uh, I know other people, sometimes they don't pay as much taxes and I have done that before with, um, with StockX, um, with some shoes. It was good. I paid normal taxes, 25%. Some shoes like these and with a bunch of LeBrons that I bought on StockX, I paid more than 50% taxes when the shoes come to Sweden. So I pay a price on StockX or on GOAT, they come home and it's double the money. So that's not so fun. Um, GOAT and StockX is not the only site that does this uh, reselling middle hand. We have a flight club that I've done there for, for many years, but they are always more expensive. We have a bunch of these sites. And eBay has also started doing this. And um, I'm going to try eBay as well. And I'm actually going to look for shoes with damaged box because I have no use for the box. I'm just going to throw it away. So if I can get the shoes cheaper without a box, that is perfect for me. Uh, so yeah. I bought a couple of shoes lately that, and I hate paying resale. I ended up, I wanted these and I couldn't wait for them. So I bought the vast gray because they were also pink 
and I couldn't wait for them so I bought another pair and these I bought because I thought they were going to be cheap they were not so this pair of shoes cost me five or six hundred euro because StockX was slow and I ended up buying a bunch of other shoes of course so yeah that's it thanks for watching if you have any questions ask me please subscribe uh, I have a bunch of unboxing videos all the time and let me know what you prefer uh, StockX or Gold or eBay or any of the other sites and why you prefer them in that case Thanks for watching. Good night.